Here's something really quick I want to show you. I'm going to put, I'm going to paint right out of this. These are just thin little tray inserts, plastic tray inserts. And, you know, I save these. But what to do? I, you know, this one here is all nice and dry. And I can put the paint right in there over this other paint. I don't think that paint's going to bleed through or anything. It's latex paint and stuff. And I don't think it would mix into the paint. If you have a concern about that, or if you get, once you get one or two layers in here of the latex paint, usually when I dump this out, I just kind of use my paintbrush and kind of move the paint around and just let it sit in there. Because, because watch this. You know, I don't have to throw this away and get another one of these. I can just peel this up. This is latex paint. I, I think I have enough paint in here. You gotta have one or two layers of old paint in here to make this work. But you should be able to kind of peel this right up out of the bottom. You know, it probably should have had another layer. If I grab that just right, this paint just stretches and it pulls out because it's latex. You see that? I'm just peel that right out of there. And I'll keep working on this and, and get the rest out of here. And it will be like a new little container and that's as that's as simple as it is if you use flat paint you're not going to be able to scrape it out like this but if it's like semi-gloss paint or a an eggshell paint a gloss paint anything like that you'll be able to tear this out of there and it's almost like having a brand new little container paint tray. So I just saved my paint trays. Yeah, I could throw them away and go to the store and get some more. You know, and that's an option. They don't cost very much. Probably for seven or eight trays or maybe ten in a bunch is maybe, you know, six or seven dollars. You could use it once and then throw it away. You know, but knowing me, you know me by now, I like to save money wherever I can. And so that's how you can do that. I'll end up doing it with this one. And see this one here, it looks pretty clean. And I've, I've already done this to this one before. So it's almost brand new have to clean it up a little bit you know next time I want to use that I, I always make sure that I've got a few a few of these trays in fact this this container I've never had I might have had paint in it once before I don't generally do that if I if I'm painting and if I get some little imperfections on the wall and I and I've got these Containers in here, and I want to get it off my fingers or something. I'll lift this up, and kind of put it in there. So that's that's why I've got stuff in there. But you know, this works fine. Now, if you're gonna paint all day long and stuff, you can paint out of a five-gallon bucket and that. But lots of times I'm doing patches. I don't want to get the bucket out and all that. You know, I'll just strain my paint, put it right directly in here. As it is, this patch here. I don't need very much paint, very much primer paint or finished paint. So this is going to work out just fine. 